One of the things that led us to decide to do this is that the work that is being made now by these contemporary women photographers is usually printed huge and it's usually really glossy and really like, it's it's like candy, you know, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's very shiny and it hangs on the wall, very large, like painting, it's mm -hmm. really huge prints. Um, and so for us, we, we definitely wanted to step as far away from that as possible because that's not what we were doing. We we're not conforming to what's happening. We're trying to make us take a closer look. So that's a hint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I think um, definitely we treat the photographs like objects um, to be studied. And in the language of, of the archive, or if you even think of like scientific language, you know, when they show something like in medical cases, they'll be underneath glass and sort of little objects next to each other and you're meant to go up and look closer and study them. So that's what we kind of thought is treating the photograph like an object to be studied in a different language rather than having it be a duplicate of what the, the contemporary fine artists do with these, which is hold them up really big and, and face them all the mm -hmm. So, And we're also really trying to fight this um, phenomenon of the public just consuming the image, just accepting it as a beautiful image and just eating it up without really thinking about what it's, it might be saying. And so, you know, not only with treating it as an object and everything that you've already talked about, but also in showing two in one frame, where if you only saw one, you might think, oh, it's such a beautiful picture, I don't know. But, but when you see two that are kind of in a similar situation and then you see the title and then it makes you, you have to think twice about it before you say, oh, it's just a beautiful image. 